portray the IFMIS extract, but a mere complaint by one Salesio Mutuma. This is a mere complaint by Duranira Salesio Mutuma. The table that bears the total of 2.7 is not from the IFMIS extract, isn't it? It is not from the IFMIS extract. Thank you. When you look at the charges that you faced, was there anywhere where any specific amount was mentioned that was received by any of the people termed as your relatives that you are supposed to explain why they received such monies? Specifically, figures. No specific figure. Thank you. That will be all for this witness, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. We now move on. And Perhaps I can ask just one more question with your leave. Okay. Madam Speaker, thank you. So, Governor, then, what would you plead the Senate to do, having heard the case from the County Assembly, having given your evidence? What is it that you ask this Honorable House to do for you? Madam Speaker, humbly, I would request this Honorable House a constitutional house to see as we have heard all the allegations that are labeled before me I'm appearing as third, fourth, fifth party in all these accusations. It is my humble request that as you sit as judges I'm forced to answer allegations that are done or some issues that are not directly involving the governor of Meru. In these allegations, there is nowhere, Honorable Madam Speaker, that I have signed any document nor delegated anyone to any person via the allegations tabled today before this Honorable Senate. Madam Speaker, today I don't count it as an unfortunate day for me because at least the whole world have known the truth. I ask this Honorable Senate, Honorable Members, as you see it today, to consider and give justice. Thank you. Thank you so much, and that will be the close of our case. Uh, thank you, Council. Uh, we now move on to the clarifications by Senators, and I request that strictly we adhere to the two minutes so that we give as many Senators opportunity, uh, maximum two minutes, and uh, we begin with the Senator Sigay. This session will end at uh, 7.50, as I had said earlier. Yeah, it's about 20 minutes. Uh, Senator Sige, when you're done, please approach the bench. Thank you, uh, Madam Speaker. And um, I'm troubled with uh, three things. I'll ask three clarifications, and this one is to the counsel for the governor, uh, alias Mutuma. Number one, I want you uh, response in particular to the allegation with regards to a gentleman by the name Nefat, whose employment history dates back to 2016, employed at Job Group H in 2023, acted in Job Group R, and the document that we've been given appearing at page 384 of the county assembly's bundle from the County Public Service Board. I would wish to get your response as counsel. Two, witness number three, I can't recall the name, um, is, is called Mr. Munene Nganata, sorry. At paragraph 13 of his affidavit, he made reference to employees whose position as at the time of employment was cleaners and 
a document which has been submitted as evidence before the House appearing at page 47 and 374. The responses that will clear my mind will probably be that coming from you because what Mr. Nganata responded to as he was asked is not clear to me. And lastly, your position with regard to a number of videos which entertain this house on all things. On the one hand, there was an element of some Senator Sochi. Uh, th th thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to direct this clarification to the Council for the County Assembly. Uh, Mr. Speaker, there seems to be some disparities in the document submitted by the County Assembly in relation to the invitation letter to China. The document submitted by the County Assembly on page 60 differs in content from the document submitted by the Governor on page 425 of the, the bigger document of evidence. Uh, but when you look at the two documents uh, keenly, Mr. Speaker, the document for the county assembly uh, does not refer to the other assignments the county government went to do in China. That is housing and agriculture. But another document attached on page 68 of the county assembly bundle confirms that actually housing and agriculture was one of the functions. So my concern, which I want clarification from the, the council for the county assembly,